All right, everybody. <clears throat> this is going to be a time to roll up your sleeves and dive into a challenge. And as you probably understand, the challenge is to create the best scenario to address climate change, meeting a, a whole range of goals. Hi, everyone. My name is Josh. This is Oliver Hitchcock. My name is Nick Montez. My name is Lou Durall. My name is Sid Shrikant. Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm here with Tila, Luke, Haran, and Anna, and we are Stanfordable Energy. So these are our main results and key methodologies. As you can see, we reached two degrees C. We began phasing out carbon first with a carbon tax in 2020, uh, a moderate one. And then we start phasing out coal, oil, and natural gas in the years 2030, 40, and 55, respectfully. Uh, that's based on their carbon intensities. So here's our scenario overview. As you can see, we were able to reach a temperature increase by 2100 of 2.0 degrees Celsius. Um, we mainly tinker on the energy supply, on the tax subsidies, to achieve a dominance of renewals and nuclear by the end of the century. So I am very thrilled to announce as our winners, team number two. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations to all. In reflecting on this exercise, we were surprised to see that adjusting the new tech breakthrough had a much smaller effect than we expected, um, hearkening to the fact that we cannot rely on a silver bullet to solve global warming. As part of the exercise, I was Googling like basically where current tax rates, current limits are on a lot of these uh, energy sources. And um, I think I was disappointed to see that uh, my original goal of taxing coal at let's say $30 a ton is really far from where the federal government currently sets its tax rate. Um, so I think it just gives me motivation to uh, spend pieces of my life pushing us toward that. <laughs>